Hey gang, Mr. Phil here for Weekly Update Episode 6. And today is going to be um, a couple of cool things. I'm going to try not to talk as much as I normally do, but we all know that's just not going to happen. So the topics for today, um, it's going to be kind of like a reintroduction. Um, so by the time last week's episode was recorded and produced and everything, um, that was before a really painful loss in my personal life happened. So the video, you know, when I look at last week's episode, I, it, it's kind of weird because then the next day, tons of crazy stuff went down. So I'm back here in front of the camera a week later talking to you about just how I respond to a tough situation. So how I do it is through creativity. And I've been really super creative this past week. And I have come up with some new ideas that I think you guys would be really into. Number one, I took down my old hair services menu and replaced it with a brand new menu, which I'll fly on the screen just about now so you can see it. The main thing that I did was I got rid of the old school men's and women's haircut. I got rid of men's color, women's color. I took the gender out of it because honestly, you know, hair is hair. And when I'm doing hair, you know, these tools, whether it's a curling iron or a clipper, these tools don't care what gender you are. So why should I? And so why should I price things in that old way? Um, so what I did instead was I just had set prices on some of the stuff that you guys already know and you've been using, and other stuff has been package priced or custom quoted without ever having to use that gender term. For instance, um, there are clients that have, that women clients with long hair that will do a color, a haircut, but then also like a side shave or an undercut. So how do I price that? You know, where do they fall in? Or nowadays with men using a lot longer hairstyles, their haircuts might actually resemble more of a long layered haircut. So that barrier of gender terms to me seemed a little bit old fashioned. So I got rid of that. I updated the prices to make it more accessible and more affordable to you guys without so many options on the board. So that's the first big piece of news. The second, and I've been working closely with a lot of my friends um, from both sides of things, from photography and hair, because let's face it, I don't do just one thing. I do a lot of hair and I do a lot of photography and they all blend together. So what we've come up with as, as a little crew here is the idea that things are gonna be combined, that there are going to be combined headshots with a haircut or a hair color and a model shoot or a hairstyle and a promotional video for your business or your whatever it might be. And I think that's really the future of this studio is to combine all of the things together that I do and create a creative, safe, and versatile place for people to come to pitch their ideas. Because after all, I've been doing um, headshot and beauty photography professionally now for 15 years. So I don't ever want to lose touch with that. And for those of you that know me as a photographer or as a beauty photographer or whatever it might have been, that's still going to continue, but with the added versatility and the added creativity of being a professional hairdresser. So that's really exciting to me. Um, you know, I never like to sit down long enough and be depressed long enough to lose progress. Um, I think my little personal aside today is to say this, that I try to be as positive and creative as I can, no matter what the circumstance, least of all during um, a painful or negative experience. So um, yeah, we're going to start combining some stuff and I'm really excited to see what ideas you guys bring to me coming up in the next days and weeks. Um, I'm now running headshots, model photography portfolio, those things. Um, photo shoots are starting at $75 and we can pair that with your hair services and create some really cool packages. Um, the reason why I'm doing it, and I'm gonna, I might edit this out later for time constraints, but what I'm aiming to do 
is create something different because oftentimes when I'm, let's say, doing a haircut, I'll have an idea in my head of how a photo shoot after that could be really cool. And in years past, you'd have to go to your barber or your stylist, then you'd have to go find a photographer, and then it would just waste a lot of time. So I'm merging everything together to make it more efficient time-wise and more efficient money-wise. But that's really it, guys, for this week. Um, short, quick video, just giving you some updates on where I'm headed for 2017. And um, I'm always looking for new people to come in to be part of either hair photos or hair and photos. So if you have someone that you'd like to refer that you think would be a good fit for me here in the workshop and vice versa, uh, send me a private message on Facebook Messenger or text me and I'm going to start a rewards program um, for you guys. I've been talking about it for a year now, but I, I think I have an outline of how I want to do it. So that's it. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and this is Mr. Phil signing off.